Greetings everyone, this is your boy Curtis aka Dr. C with another video, another public health warning for you all about this uh, new swine flu program that the government's about to embark on. Uh, according to the latest reports, the swine flu manufacturers and federal officials will be immune from the lawsuits. So they're saying that we're not immune to the particular new vaccine which they created actually by all accounts or uh, you know either the government or some corporation released into the public and now if people get sick from it which you know they they did back in 1976 when the government first embarked on its first uh, swine flu ma mass vaccination program vaccine manufacturers and federal officials will be immune to all lawsuits but there will be compensation fund if necessary now if you know anything about the national the va vaccination vaccination compensation program they have in America already is a complete and total fraud and 66 percent of the cases that are brought uh, within that federally funded program are actually thrown out and then the most of the people who actually go through that program first uh, they never end up filing in civil court so essentially you know government is you know telling people that hey you know you know we're going to protect our, our own ass and uh, vaccine manufacturers ass so, you know, if people get hurt, oh well. Uh, and the history of this, you know, because, you know, if you understand the history of this, then you know what's going on here. In 1976, when the whole, when a big swine, when the first American swine flu hoax occurred, uh, there was actually one documented case uh, and one documented death, and the rest of the cases were just, you know, reports according to a, a wonderful uh, uh, report by Mike Wallace uh, that was shown back in the early, in the late 70s on CBS, uh, 60 minutes to be exact. The government, you know, from, you know, just from that, from one case and from a few reported cases, no confirmed cases, em embarked on a mass vaccination program. Uh, they blatantly lied to the American people about some of the uh, risks involved taking this vaccine or just withheld that information from people. And they also lied about the people who were taking it. You know, the only person of note who got the actual vaccine was President Ford at the time, President General uh, Gerald Ford who was uh, our president at the time. He was the only note noteworthy, per note noteworthy person who got this particular vaccine. But the CDC told us that, oh, well, all these particular celebrities, Muhammad Ali, uh, uh, Ralph Nader, and all these other people actually received the vaccine. And uh, 46 Americans actually, <laughs> uh, you, know, uh, you know, blindly followed their government's recommendations and, and got the vaccine. And from that, over 4,000 cases were reported of people who suffered uh, adverse effects from the particular vaccine. 30 deaths were reported from the vaccine, and a new so-called disease uh, came about from this vaccine, uh, Guillain-Barre Guillain syndrome, which is basically uh, a neurological disorder, which you know, may oftentimes uh, leads to paralysis of people. Uh, and you know, government paid out, you know, I think in the billions of dollars from you know people filing claims and lawsuits against federal officials and vaccine manufacturers. So now, the government saying no go. That's not going to be the situation. Uh, the, our secretary of the Department of Health and Human Services has uh, you know put into place immunity, uh, you know under the provision of a 2006 law. But there will be a compensation program if necessary. And you know I just mentioned earlier about the fraud of the the current. A federally funded uh, national vaccine compensation program they have now, which you know basically you know throws out most people's cases. So essentially, people, you know, if you decide to get your children vaccinated, yourself vaccinated, you know, and you get hurt, eh, we ain't got nothing for you. You know, government ain't got nothing for you. You are doing so at your own risk because government has made it plain and simple that you know we will not hear a case. Uh, vaccine manufacturers will not have to pay. And you know, if there is, you know, if there is a compensation program, it will be paid for by you. Vaccine manufacturers will most likely not have to pay for it, just like in the case with, with the national federally funded uh, vaccine pro vaccine uh, injury compensation program that we have. It's actually paid for by the American consumer by a ta by a excise tax on vaccines that are sold here in America. So just let you all know, you know, because I think 46 million, 46 million Americans actually got the the first actually got the first vaccine when it was administered in 1976 and you know I you know I you know for all intents and purposes I expect um, that you know that 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 amount maybe if not higher 
Americans who will unwisely and, ig and ignorantly get this particular vaccine. But you know, just know that you know they're coming after your children, and your children, you know, you know hey, your children get hurt. Nothing for them. Uh, and you know, and actually, even in the first case, which you know, in the first claims that were filed in 1976, which I'll post a link for some of those uh, two 60-minute uh, videos. Uh, people who had filed claims often didn't receive the claims in, in many years. You know, the cases just dragged on. Uh, government was, you know, was was real slow to pay people. You know, typical government uh, BS and hypocrisy was going on. You know, you know, it just and and this was back in, in back in the early 70s when people could actually file claims. So what do you think is going to happen now if they even do create a compensation program? You know, because back as I mentioned, back in '76, the government was slow. And you know, and you know, and oftentimes people, you know, due to the the cases dragging on, people got discouraged and just you know dropped the losses altogether. And so, what do you think is going to happen now if they even do create a a compensation program, which will probably not go through the the federally funded national vaccine uh, injury compensation program we have right now? Probably be a totally separate program, as this is a uh, is going to be a, a federally uh, sponsored or government sponsored mass vaccination program. You know, it's going to be the same BS. People, you know, are going to be paid small amounts, and if not nothing, and the cases will drag on for years, and the legal fees will mount up, and people will get discouraged or just drop the lawsuits. So essentially, that's what's going on. People, I just thought I'd give you a third public health warning that if you decide to take that swine for vaccine, you're doing so at your own risk. So, you know, the choice is yours. You don't have to take the vaccine, and even if they are mandating it for our children. Vaccines are not mandatory, and you might want to check out a link that I'll, I'll post up up to your upper right in the description about uh, a, a teleclass that I'm having this Thursday on how to legally avoid all vaccines. Because I'm telling you all, they are coming for our children, and uh, this latest report, uh, sh you know, is a very telling example of how government it ain't paying nothing to <laughs> to the American taxpayer. <laughs> you all will get screwed. Uh, without lubricant, and you know, I'm not trying to graphic there. But this is your boy Curtis, aka Doctor C, checking in with you all with a third uh, public health warning about this swine flu uh, program that is being uh, pushed on the American people. So I am done. Peace.